What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today we got update 1.09. I will link all these patch notes down in the description if you would like to read over them. This is going to be a little bit longer video than I normally do because there's a lot of stuff to go over. I'm going to try to hit on everything, but some things I'm going to kind of skip over because some of the stuff is just some basic bug fixes. But I'm not sure if this is the big overhaul that we were kind of expecting because a lot of this in today's update is mainly just bug fixes and fixing things that were kind of glitched out or, you know, not working correctly. But this update was 12.9 gigs on PS4, around 15 gigs on Xbox, and around 20 gigs on PC. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First thing they did today, or the first thing they talked about in these patch notes, were adding some new things in Special Operations, which is Harbinger and Brimstone. They also added a Realism Mosh Pit, which has Dom, Hardpoint, Headquarters, and Kill Confirmed. And also they added Gun Game into the playlist. Some general fixes that they did today were fixed a bug where players could spawn without a character model when spawning into a friendly vehicle, fixes for various exploits across all maps and modes, a fix for an issue where uh, copying an opposing player's loadout would also copy their kill streaks, fix for the after action report not displaying newly acquired rewards, fix for the player rank icons not appearing on screen, shorten the amount of time that the execution animation plays. The accessibility, as they say, they added the option to always sprint in the, you know, kind of the option menu that has been there in the past. For the footsteps, they adjust, adjusted the volume and sound type played for crouch, walk, and walking while aiming down sights. Now, this was touched on kind of within the last update. It looks like they've done some more adjusting to that as well. A fix for dead silence, field upgrade not lasting the correct amount of time when the CD rule, CDL rule set is enabled. So that is in the Pro League uh, rules uh, rule set if you play, play kind of, you know, in like game battles or something like that and you use the CDL rule set. Fix uh, for name plates being visible in certain locations on Piccadilly. Updates to the obituary or kill feed. They remove the avenge and save player, play of the game owner and play player rank increase. Also, the fix for uh, the players being able to join match even though they have been blocked. Now, they did some changes to the private matches. Uh, they added the option to disable the spawn camera. Also, the fix for a bug where the starting flag captured private match option was not functioning as intended and fixed the bomb screen appearing blank when defusing or playing a bomb in S and D. Now, when it comes to kill streaks, there were some bugs with some of these kill streaks. I'm glad they fixed one of these. Uh, fixed an issue where the selected kill streak would revert back to the previous selection mid-match. I was having a huge issue with this where I could just be playing team deathmatch. Uh, did not matter what it was. Kill confirmed, domination, ground war, where my kill streaks would just, I would spawn in and they would just revert back to some other kill streaks. That was kind of annoying, so I'm glad that has been worked out. And also fixed where players using the shield turret kill streak could see through smoke at certain angles with the side panels of the turret. Now, when it comes to the Call of Duty League, the Pro League, I'm not really going to go over the changes they did for that. They did a couple changes for the Pro League. I know a lot of the Pro players were asking for. If you want to look at those, of course, like I said, these will be down in the patch notes below if you want to check them out. Uh, the next thing that I found pretty interesting was in infantry assault vehicles. They reduced the damage radius and lethality of the turret. They did not really go into great detail if, if this is all the tanks or if this is the kill streak, you know, the tank you can get with the kill streak. Uh, I'm assuming this is all tanks in the game in general. Hopefully this will help with some of that spam, especially if you're in a building and you just get shot by a tank and it kills everybody in the room. Some of that blast radius was pretty crazy. So hopefully this is going to tone the tanks down just a little bit for people that had issues with tanks. Also for progression challenges and missions, they did some fixes with this. The officer challenge heads up got fixed. Also destroy vehicles with launchers, doing work, aggression, expert gunsmith, and one trick pony. Now, when it comes to lethals and tacticals, they did a fix for the decoy grenade showing that red blinking light. Also, they slightly brightened the player outline when using the snapshot grenade. They did a fix for the bug that could cause an error when selecting a mission in single player. Now, when it comes to perks, there were a few bugs for these perks. The spotter perk was not marking equipment or field upgrades or kill streaks in free for all. And also, a fix for the spotter perk not marking UAVs, and they slightly brightened the outline while using the slot, uh, spotter perk. EOD, they did a fix for losing HUD elements after hacking an enemy claymore. And quick fix, the perk was not giving you health regeneration fast enough when using a throwing knife. And also they did some changes for amped or, or fixed some things with amped. The perk was not showing uh, stowing the right shield as quickly as it should when using amped. 
Also, they did some fixes with the weapons. Now, this is mainly just for camos and stuff. They only did one update to the weapon, only really one buff. Nothing else got changed. First of all, the rocket launcher and the M, uh, the Model 860 camos now should unlock and track properly. The SCAR uh, 17, or the FN SCAR 17, got a slight increase in ADS time and a reduction to barrel and bipod grip penalties. A fix for the white placeholder box appearing when leveling up a weapon and unlocking new attachments. Added a description to all optics that have a scope glint. So now if you're using an optic that shows a, you know, that white glint, it will now tell you that in the description when you select that certain optic. Also a fix for the issue where the P90 plus the FFS ring sight would show a scope glint. That has now been fixed. The big one out of all of the weapon updates where thermal scopes are now able to see through smoke grenades, which is going to be a big help. They, that's even going to make infrared scopes viable on uh, ARs and other things because there's a lot of smoke going out in a lot of different game modes. Um, so this should be a big help in my opinion. There's a lot of people that just spam smoke and of course run through it into the building that you're in. And this will be a big help if you can slap on a thermal and then kind of take those people out in that smoke. A fix for charms not appearing when they should on various weapons. Also fixed a bug where selecting all would sometimes kick the player back to the main menu and also added CTF and hardpoint into the combat records. Now for audio, there's some new voice chat options. There's the no effect option, the stealth comms, and classic chatter. You can go in and select these. They do some different things like, you know, coordinate using uh, that kind of classic modern warfare radio effects. These are kind of neat. Just some things they've added into the game. Now when it comes to special operations, they added added munition drops after various objectives, various exploit fixes, and fixed an issue where players could lose functionality after using the EMP drone and crosswind. Also a fix for crashes that occur when viewing the scoreboard from the match summary. Now when it comes to PC, they pretty much got a list of their own fixes. We'll go into those really quickly here. Um, some of the PC changes, they added an option to hide friend, uh, friend requests and party invitations and added more support for keyboard bindings and layouts on PS4. Several fixes to prevent crashes and improve stability. I know that's been a big issue on PC. Also, fix an issue where the uh, boot up sequence volume would be too loud. Various key binding adjustments for PC. Players were, are now able to back out of gestures and spray the spray wheel by clicking anywhere. Also, more fixes to prevent hitching and shuddering during cutscenes. Fixed an issue where the main menu music would not uh, would not play when users activated the skip intro movie option. Fixed for a bug where some some of the achievements would appear as completed as if even though they were not. Also fixed a bug where the XP uh, token shortcut key would also open the Nvidia highlights feature simultaneously. Now it is featured on the F key. Anyway, guys, like I said, this is a lot of updates for like bugs and things of that nature. I'm kind of glad they've done this, uh, or they have done this, because this is kind of ironing everything out for updates going forward. That way, we won't have a lot of these bugs and issues, you know, months down the road, and they can just do updates to kind of balance the game out or change things or whatever they feel like they need to do. I do not think this was the big overhaul that we were expecting or we were kind of hearing about. I think we still may get that later on in the month. But anyway, guys, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out the new affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. Click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.